last year I bless us for Ivor protect us. Dangriga is a town located in the Stan Creek district of Belize that is known as the cultural capital of Belize and was once known as Stan Creek Town. The town was established in the year 1802. According to the Statistical Institute of Belize, the 2010 census, the population was approximately 9,593. Dangriga is a coastal area with sandy beaches that is at sea level. Wooden houses perch on the stilts to catch the breeze, sits alongside coconut palms and mango trees, giving the place a tranquil air about it. To the east of Dangriga are the Keys and the marvelous Barrier Reef. Dangriga Town is presently battling against long-standing coastal erosion that has threatened several landmarks. The mayor, Gilbert Swazo, says it is important that something gets done immediately. So a team led by the Petters Research Institute is being commissioned to look at the problem. That is fundamental to find out what is causing the erosion. In view of that, we are partnering with other organizations, which will also include the Petters Institute, and they will be sending scientists with a view then to ascertain specifically what is the cause of that erosion. But we cannot wait for that because we need to halt it. As a matter of fact, the defense for the, um, for the BTL, not the, the Social Security Park, is just about compromise. So we cannot wait for that. So we have to do something to halt the erosion as we speak. The exact acreage lost to date is unknown, but in order to keep from losing any more, a plan has been developed. Mary Swazza tells us about it. The erosion situation in Dangra is very um, critical, and as a council, we believe that it is our responsibility to arrest the situation as early as possible. As a result, um, I return to Dangriga, get together my technical team with a view then to start the initial process of organizing a proposal. Uh, the intent is for us in the first instance to halt the erosion. And then once we halt the erosion, it is then that will retain what we have. And once that is completed, then we go into the reclamation phase. The culture capital's name comes from the Garinago for standing waters, meaning the Stan Creek River, which flows through it. As population on the coast increases and land clearing comes along, development spreads outwards up the edge of the shore and closer to the rivers and main transportation routes. One town in particular which is evident of this is Dangriga. Development in Dangriga's coastline ranges from construction of public roads, bridges, post office, police stations, immigration office, homes, hotels, hospitals and supermarkets among others. With the construction of these infrastructures, the residential population increases as the general population wish to take advantage of these goods and services provided. Increased population brings about land degradation, water pollution, coastal erosion and also noise pollution. Standing most evident is the coastal erosion that has threatened several landmarks as reported in 2013 by the 7 News report. Coastal erosion is the wearing away of land and the removal of beach or dune sediments. This occurs usually by one, natural forces including extreme events such as hurricanes, storms and floods, and two, increase in sea level. In addition, a major cause of erosion in Belize is as a result of three, human activities such as sand mining from beaches, rivers and river mouths, dredging, land reclamation, damming of rivers. Rivers provide sediments that make up beaches along the mainland coastline. Reef destruction. Reefs protect beaches and provide them with sand. Obstruction of longshore drift and haphazard vegetation clearance. Vegetation helps stabilize beaches. Coastal Zone Management Authority and Institute 2012. The impacts of beach erosion in Belize have resulted in the loss of public and private property, infrastructure, coastal vegetation, and wildlife habitats. In this case, Dangriga Town is presently battling against long-standing coastal erosion that has threatened several landmarks. 
These pictures illustrated the impacts of coastal erosion that has been occurring in Nangrigas Beach. In the same year of 2013, the town mayor along with St. Peter's Research Institute gathered force to find out the cause and possible solution of coastal erosion. The most recent workshop that highlights the importance of mangroves in preserving Belizean coastline took place in Dangriga on June 27, 2016. The most active organization in the coast is the Pan American Development Foundation, which has amplified countless efforts to combat coastal erosion through community involvement. This is the map of Dangriga's coastline which was done for GIS course along with the Pan American Development Foundation. This map is used to measure Dangriga's coast erosion. The base map which is from 2011 and the plotted spatial data which was done in 2015. So from there we can compare and see a difference in coastal change. The map was done using ArcGIS program. Here is a closer look. The green dot represents structure which was printed using GPS when tracking the coast. These structures are buildings, drawings, or piers. The way the measurement was done is using the measurement tool on ArcGIS program. Now coming to the measurements which are the red dots. As you can see there are positive and negative numbers which are in meters. The positive numbers shown 3.21 meters and 4.09 meters show that the coast expanded more. Also, as you can see, there are structures along the coast which was not on the base map on 2011. The negative number shown, negative 16.85 meters, show that coast eroded from that time. The map is good to compare the erosion happening from 2011 to 2015. So we needed to gather more information on the coastal impacts of Dangriga. So we decided to pull some strings and get in contact with Ms. Pinello. Ms. Pinello was the project manager for a project that was done along with the University of Belize to outline the coast of Dangriga using GIS. This project ended in August 2016 and the coast of Dangriga was mapped to see where erosion and deposition took place. After an interview with Ms. Pinello, we gathered an insight of the current impacts on the coast of Dangriga. She highlighted that climate change man-made activities and loss of land among others are major contributors to coastal impacts. The biggest threat affecting coastal communities is climate change. As seas become warmer and sea level rises, the constant beating of the coast causes a lot of erosion, especially in a little town like Dangriga. Other activities that contribute to this is anthropogenic activities such as clearing of vegetation, which includes sea grasses, mangroves and other coastal vegetation. These ecosystems that are being destroyed are Belize's first line of defense in combating climate change effects as it plays major roles in ecosystem services such as reducing wave action, soil formation, and sedimentation. In a community like Dangraga, a lot of the impacts of climate change are evident as people's properties and perceptions are being threatened by floods and drastic rate of erosion. In some cases, people's structures are being washed away like their vats and septic tanks, and in extreme cases, even their homes. Now with these evident changes, the people in Dangriga are being more aware of this and need to take on a grassroots approach in efforts to combat climate change. In addition, mechanisms need to be placed to mitigate the effects of climate change and erosion to protect the 5.3 miles of beach they have. During the interview with Ms. Pinello, she also stated that with the increase in awareness, the people in Dangriga are also engaging in more volunteerism and groups like the Wahima Beach Group and Harlem Group are constantly working to keep the beach clean by having frequent beach cleanups. In addition, the Harlem Group has tried mechanisms to, make it, to mitigate the impacts of wave action by placing tires on the beach to absorb wave action and cause sedimentation in the beach. Other efforts in the community to mitigate erosion is the establishment of groins along the beach. However, this did help erosion near the groin, but further south of the groin it actually increased erosion and this is evident in the map made through the PADF project. Therefore, more integration needs to be done to properly establish mechanisms to mitigate erosion. Structures like groins, sea walls, gabion baskets and others can work well but need to be adequately planned and placed. 
Major coastal erosion events challenge coastal managers in opting for best management solutions. Current scientific knowledge and our perspective abilities about the nature of extreme of shoreline processes may be sufficient to respond. Factors like legislation, governance, politics, economy, ecology, history, as well as potential complexity in landowners and their organizational forms must be considered. However, the dissemination about coastal dynamics to all stakeholders is an everlasting task. Coastal erosion has been obvious for many years but with very few counteractive achievements despite several efforts to advocate sun nourishment and beach restoration over the past years. It's crucial for the community of Dangriga to act now and seek possible solutions for the coastline erosion. If actions to mitigate coastline erosions are not undertaken, it is possible that the coastline becomes severely damaged by natural disasters such as a hurricane like in the Andaman Islands, India. We must learn from historical events from other countries and prioritize in finding possible solutions. To solve coastline erosion, there must be community involvement between the private sector, communities, managers, stakeholders and policymakers. This is a major problem which cannot be solved by using those who benefit most pay approach. The community must remain together and persistent to get the government's attention through the media and newspaper. Getting assistance from the Belizean community is also a major step to combat coastal erosion. The mapping of the Dangrigas coastline by the University of Belize NRM students and the Pan American Development Foundation PADF, was a major step in combating coastline erosion. Furthermore, seeking international assistance from other countries to provide financial assistance is also possible. To effectively combat coastline erosion, the community managers and stakeholders must remain together and persistent in finding solutions.